everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show, and I am here in New York City, and I'm here with the professional steel drum player, Freddie Harris III. How are you doing? I'm hanging in there. How are you doing? Good. I'm very good. It's New Year's Eve. This is pretty exciting, I you know? I no. Getting yeah. ready for the countdown. You're in Times Square. We're about to watch the ball drop. Yeah, I know. Oh, my gosh. Okay, just on our way over here, mm -hmm. there were, like, millions of people. Not millions, but you know what I mean. Like, walking over. It was just like, oh, my gosh. What is this? It's to be right now. Yeah. This is the hot spot. I know, and I've never even seen it on TV. Okay, I've just moved to New York, so it's like... This is epic. I don't know where to go. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, or? shoot. I mean, you know, you, know, you got to go to Times Square. You got to go to Middle and so watch. It's well, you, you got to get a pass. Some, somehow you get some form of pass and the police let you get by. And, or you get there pretty early. And, they, yes. and plus, my sister Tammy G, soca artist, is having a um, New Year's party later if you want to come to that. Okay. It's cool. going to be jumping. <laughs> Look at that, guys. I've already been invited to a party. What up? Yes. I'm cool. <laughs> yes. Okay, very cool. So you started in Steel Drums when you were four years old. Okay, I, I started when I was 11, so I thought that was young. Yeah, but what got you into it? What, what got you, um, you know, so interested in it? Because it's a cool instrument. Okay, well, you just talked to my father. My father is one of the pioneer guys. He's a, um, a steel drum player, too. Also one of the greatest guitar players that came out of Trinidad. He inspired me when I was four. Mm -hmm. I used to watch him perform amongst all the great soca artists and stuff like that and in Trinidad and Tobago. And that kind of led me into that direction. My mother, she continued me when I went to St. Thomas with a band called Rising Stars. Mm -hmm. I was like eight, nine years old. She kept me going, and from then it's been a wrap. Never let it go. That's so cool. Did you ever get interested in any other instruments, or what kept you with the steel drums? Oh, well, I mean, I play saxophone, piano, drums. I play a lot of different percussion instruments and a, not, and a lot of non-conventional instruments. Mm -hmm. A bunch of different, um, oh, I, I don't know how to call them, trinklets and stuff okay. like that. But um, other than that, that I, do, I do produce my sister, Tammy G, the soca artist. I produce my father. I produce basically my whole family. My yeah. brother's a, um, a um, rapper. Mm -hmm. So besides playing pan, I do a bunch of other yeah. genres of music. Yeah, so you're just in everything. Your whole family's in it, really. Yeah, most deaf, most deaf. Yeah, that's amazing. So Trinidad, and you're obviously a Trinidadian, I guess. Is that what, like a Floridian? You know, like, how do you say that? Is that well, you, you know, I want to I wanna introduce a word to the public, okay. right? This this is called, because I was actually born in New York, okay. but I was raised in Trinidad, so I want to consider myself an Amerindian. Okay, there you go. You know, that's yeah. like the perfect mix of American and Caribbean, so okay. I'm going to say Amerindian and call it that, you know, because I've been go. around the globe. I've been yeah. to Florida for a while. I actually got my um, scholarship to, yeah. um, to play steel drums. Mm -hmm. Um, do my bachelor's in jazz studies in Florida Memorial University. Okay, very cool. Yeah, so I came back up from there in 2004 and started living back up in New York again. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, so have well, since you grew up in Trinidad, you obviously know about the what are they, the, the Pan Champ like championships or competitions oh, or whatever yeah, they call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Panorama. Yes, Panorama. Yeah. Panorama. Okay, so that when does that happen again? I I, cause I I need to go to that. So when is it? That's in February. February so okay. is it February March ish. Yeah, that's the okay. um, carnival time. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be really cool. We also have that up here in New York. I arranged for a band, my own band. We just brought it out this year for the first time. Steel Explosion. Oh, my gosh. So we came out as a. It's one thing to be a um a gigging side or a mm -hmm. stage side, but it's another thing to be a, a panorama band that yeah. you got some size on you. So we came out for our first year. We made it to the stage. Mm -hmm. We went across. We didn't place. We didn't win or anything like that, but the yeah. kids competed. Mm -hmm. A lot of beginners, a lot of kids that I groomed from their first time playing pan till about their third year now, and they're doing pretty good. And we went across the stage real powerful. Wow. I got to say big up SXP, Steel Explosion, most deaf. I love all of you guys, Zephy. Oh yeah, Taj and all yeah, you know, my leaders of tomorrow. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. How okay, so how many people are in like a panorama comp like how many like how many pan drummers are there? Um uh, a panorama side can go anywhere from let's say about fifty players to about a hundred. <laughs> Still and like they're all in sync, they all know what's oh, up. Most deaf, they follow in the arrangement, the production, and everything. Everybody, you know, goes from the ranges go from bass, cello, um, double seconds like you play, um, the lead. This is melody, and you got some harmony, double tenors, and stuff like that. We all come together and make one big orchestra. The steel drum bands is the panorama bands is the last of the big bands. It used to be 
basically you get um you know a little classical orchestra here there and a latin group maybe about 13 pieces or so but steel drums now we be up to about 100 people on wow. one that's an army you know wow. that's going past a band that's like a community of people yeah. So. I had no idea it was that many people. Like, that's yeah, insane. Staff. You got to come play with me for um, Yes. Oh, yeah, my yeah. gosh. It's yes. in September. Is it really? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, my gosh. It's like week. week before my birthday. I can totally do that. We'll have to win because. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Have you ever done the panorama, like, or during carnival time, I guess, um, in Trinidad? Or have you ever thought about competing in those? Actually, I have. We, we at Steel Explosion have not competed in Trinidad yet. And I haven't done my first Trinidad band yet. Yeah. But... We're looking forward to that. Yeah. We have a steel explosion in Tobago, um, a sister band, yeah. and they've been doing pretty good. So they've been winning, and th their second year out, they actually won the medium band in Trinidad. So wow. that's our sister band. It's the same same affiliation, everything. So yeah. um, kudos to SXP <laughs> yeah. in Trinidad and Tobago too. Yeah. So when is the, when was like the last time you went to you've been to like travel to Trinidad I guess. I was two years ago. We getting oh. ready to go again this year because I just like I said I just finished producing my sister's yeah. Soka album. So that's gonna be a whole turn up session. Yeah. So she's getting ready to go down for Soka Monarch. Wow. I don't know if you're up on that. But I am not. <laughs> Can you like tell me about it? Yeah. That's where all the Soka artists compete and they. I mean, there's some good money in there too. I think it's about a million dollar prize in there. So. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, what? But you got to break it down to a million TT converted over. Hey, you yeah. know how that go, right? Yes. But it's still a lot of money. Yeah, definitely. So your whole family, so, you know, like, is in to steel drums and musicians and everything like that. Um, so I had a mentor when I started playing, like, outside of school, which is, like, because in fifth grade, that's when I started. Um, but at, when I left or whatever, yeah, I know. How, how crazy is that? They had a little place in Florida had... Wait, where were you, where were you at? Where Daytona you Beach. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's like Central Florida. They had like a little yeah. steel drum program. I used to live in Daytona for a while. That's, really? how, that's where I actually met Glenn. I used to gig with him as a little kid too. Yes. You know, I would come and do a little quick little thing. My mm -hmm. father taught me um, a couple of little songs and they would be doing birdie gigs as we call them. You know, the yellow bird gigs. Oh, yeah. and, okay. and I would come and do a little quick thing and yes. run up there as a kid. Yeah. And it's gotten to this point where one of the one of the forefront steel drum guys and i still know glenn and he's yeah. hooking me up with you i know that's crazy so i so i had an amazing mentor who was actually from trinidad and everything so who was an amazing mentor to you or like, did you have one oh, like my that? father my yeah. father he was everything to me my father my mother my mother kept me going when my father wasn't around and my father definitely installed the music in direct shot into my blood so mm -hmm. We had no choice but to create a dynasty, and like we say, we're watching this movie Empire, and I'm building oh, yeah, on it right now, good. you know? That's amazing. So you are, like, the only steel drum teacher in New York, is that right? Or, like, tell me about that. There's a couple, but, okay. you know, we're You're the at, main ones. Ah, well, I'll take credit for that, because, you know, social media is everything, you know, you got to push hard on that element. So we're pushing hard on that uh, on that perspective mm -hmm. and steel explosion has been doing pretty good living social groupon yeah. okay. all of the um all of the above basically so you could pretty pretty much say if you google steel drum lessons in new york we're going to be the very yeah. first thing to come up That's most amazing. definitely what do you have any upcoming gigs that you and steel explosion have that people can go see Oh, well, we're getting ready for Dubai right now. Ooh, oh so God. that's January. Oh, man, we're getting it in. That's January 20th. Mm -hmm. So that should be a pretty nice trip. Um, we're merging with Tropical, what's, what's called Tropical Beat Steel Orchestra and doing a nice little show out there. So that should be cool. Very cool. And can I hear you play a little bit? Almost deaf. What you uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 